In today's Minecraft Star Let's Play, we start working on the harbor, which is a really exciting project that I can't wait to continue working on. Also, we work on a fishing hut. Unfortunately, there's no really working AFK fish farm, so let me know down below in the comment sections if you found one. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way, click that subscribe button, and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for 60,000 subscribers. You all are amazing. The support has been unreal, and I really thank every single one of you for showing so much tremendous support. Other than that, let's Let's see if we can reach 14 likes on today's video. And to end it all off, here's this funny video. No! 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 Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft World Let's Play. This is episode six. I want to say thank you so much for the amazing support everyone's leaving on this series. I'm actually mind blown. By the way, I also want to mention this week, there's a lot of new content coming to the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell. We are back to where we were in the last episode, which was uh, by the harbor. Essentially, this is going to be called the harbor area and we have to do a lot of work around here. In today's episode, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be building a fishing hut. I uh, also want to give a quick shout out to a comment here that said this area right here this little island should have a lighthouse so we're gonna definitely have to work on that in the next few episodes and make it a really cool lighthouse and then have a bridge connecting to as i turn around the harbor as you guys can tell i already have the main structure of the fishing hut now does anyone else hear a spider around here where is this spider? Is he like underground or something? <laughs> I have no idea where uh, this spider went. But as you guys can tell, this over here is our fishing hut. Now, I really wanted to make an AFK fish farm inside here. And I tried so hard to figure out how to make one and looking online. And there's none of them really that are working successfully right now, which is a little bit of a problem. But if you guys know any successful AFK fishing farms, let me know in the comment section. So I have already a basic amount of stuff. Now, I already have a design in my head right now that I want to try to make happen with this. Now, as you can tell, it's a very open structure. And I know in the last few episodes, we had very action-packed episodes, right? I figured today would be a nice idea to kind of relax, chill down, and maybe work on, you know, having a little bit of some builds back in the world. But in the next episode, I want to try to get an AFK fish farm. I want to try working on the lighthouse. And I also want to try to get as many of your ideas um, planned out into a future episode. So continue to leave me your amazing ideas. And also, you guys love the guess how many challenge. Today, you guys are going to have to guess what type of enchant you think we're going to be getting on our fishing rod. Uh, we already have 31 XP. I went back in the nether. I got some more XP. So we're going to actually go, after I finish building this, we're going to enchant our fishing rod. So in the comment sections, let me know what you think we're potentially going to get. I'm, I'm excited to see your guesses. You guys are always killing it with these guesses. And if you guys get it right, I'll hit that heart button next in the comment section. So yeah, good luck on that, guys. All the best. Also, the next thing I want to talk about is thank you so much, again, for all the support. We were able to reach... 60,000 subscribers, which is unreal. And I think by the time this video is up, we're probably going to be at 61,000 subscribers, which is un unreal. Like you guys have been like amazing and it, it does mean a lot to me. And it's making like one of my main goals on YouTube since I started was to try to get to 100,000 subscribers. It's a big, big goal of mine. Um, and you guys are making it one step closer to become a reality potentially. So I, I do appreciate everyone who's just tuning into the videos, uh, leaving a comment, leaving a like. Like whatever it is you guys are doing and all the support has just been mind boggling. Like I keep saying it, but I really do mean it. I appreciate everything you guys are doing um, for this series. And like I said, I'm excited to introduce new content to you guys. So as you guys can tell, what I did was I added some uh, what's it called stripped oak wood on the sides. I think it looks really nice. It puts together a nice vibe to it. So you guys, you know, can let me know in the comment sections your recommendations. Now I'm going to get ourselves our trap doors. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of trap doors. Now I just want to place them on the edges here, only at the bottom, mainly because I think it adds a little bit more details uh, to the fishing hut. I pretty much like it a lot. I think it looks really good. You know how we successfully got ourselves the treasure from the last episode? Well, I still kept the treasure buried map and I want to actually place it in here as one of our like mementos. You know what I mean? I think that would be a really nice thing to have. So I'm going to place it right up there. And there we go. We have ourselves 
our official buried treasure map. I think that looks awesome. It, it kind of just feels good. We can also probably continue to look around uh, to extend the map around here. It is a nice little memento to have, and I just wanted to put it there. I think it's a, a good idea. But back to what I wanted to do was just to take out all this grass. Then we got to go and finish building the structure out into the water and design it and try to get this whole thing looking really nice by the end of today's episode. But what I want to do inside here is make a pattern like this. Now, I think this is a perfect pattern to go for. Uh, you guys will see what exactly I mean in just a second. Alrighty, so I finished putting up the floors. As you can tell, it is a very cool pattern. I think it really fits the whole theme of this fishing hut, and it is an open space look to it, which I'm really happy with. Now, the next thing I want to do here is we obviously have to continue to expand our dock, which is really important. So this is going to go like this. And then the next thing I want to do is to add ourselves a fence post like that. We're going to obviously add a lot of lanterns too. Uh, and then we're gonna have the continued where are the rest of the barrels I forgot about that I want to add barrels on the outside like this check this out. It's just gonna be a simple entrance for the doorway So as you walk in, I think it looks pretty neat and then on the top I want to add ourselves an overhang now I don't really know what I want to do for this overhang right now I'm thinking of just using the uh, slabs uh, the dark oak or the spruce slabs. I think that would look best. Whoa, what did I do there? Well, now in the next time, I think what I want to do is potentially change it up and add campfires on the top and then put water. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this design. I, I think it looks good, my opinion. I think it looks really good. It adds a little bit more to the area. And then we just can make the pathway kind of leading into it like this. Perfect. Kind of a little bit messy. And that's exactly what I was wanting to go for. So as you walk in here, it's it's a nice looking uh, design to it. So it's fairly simple so far. Uh, next thing I want to do, like I said, was to add ourselves the dock. So I want to make as much slabs as we can, spruce slabs as we can. And essentially, they're just going to go like, oh, not like that. What the heck was that about, Alex? And all right, what I want to do is I just want to place them right above the water like this. And we're going to connect it to the land right here. So as you walk out, you're already on the docks, which is really perfect, I think. Thing. And the next thing I want to do is to potentially change this to barrels again. I think barrels are a really nice thing to work with, especially for a fishing hut. Um, I think it, would, it adds just a lot of look to it, and it just makes it look more of... And, it just makes it look more authentic. I also want to bring a villager in here, which would be kind of interesting to see if we can pull that off. So let's go down here and just break down. Oh, we can use those for dye. I forgot. Check the new recipe. What is that? What the heck can we make with that? With kelp. I forget. What can you make with kelp? What exactly was that? That was like a weird looking thing. Um, yeah, no idea. You guys let me know in the comment section. I know I could use it to make some dye, which is exactly what we want to do uh, for future builds. Because we want to have a lot more coal, a lot more clay. It just adds more color to the world. Where's the rest of our slabs? Did we use all of them? No, we didn't. Okay. It is already turning night, which is uh, not good. So let's go ahead and build this here. Once we finish the dock, I'm going to just pause it and actually add a little bit more design to the building. So that way that's done. And then after that, we're going to go to the enchantment area, enchant some uh, fishing rods, and see if you guys got the the right guess when it comes to these uh, fishing enchants. Now, luck of the sea is exactly what we are looking for right now. So hopefully, uh, if you guys guessed right, you maybe, maybe, we don't know. I don't even know what we're going to end up getting. All right, so that looks a lot better. It is turning night. So let's go ahead and put ourselves a bed right across right here. Get some sleep. All right, perfect. So uh, it's daytime. We're just going to continue this out just a little bit more. I only want to bring it out another two blocks for now. Uh, so we're just going to go up to there like that. And then we're going to place our logs straight down. Perfect. And then we have the other side to complete. And that that is pretty successful. I'm going to say that looks really nice. You guys let me know in the comment sections what you think. Uh, did I, am I getting this right here? I think it should be right about here. Hopefully we got this right. Yeah, we did. Okay, perfect. It's a very simple looking dock and I like it a lot. And I also want to add some lanterns. So let's grab a few of our iron nuggets here. I call them nuggets. So just, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> They're called nuggets. Uh, let's get some torches. Oh, I made way too many. I didn't have to make that many torches, guys. Well, it is what it is. It's only three lanterns. Okay, maybe we should make a few more. So let's go ahead and just make a few more like that. Grab our lan or our uh, torches. Boom, six lanterns. Pretty good. Now, what I want to do is add... Oh, we have a, zom a water zombie. Okay, where'd you come from, guy? Okay, let's just take you out there. I don't think I see any uh, other shipwrecks in the distance, but maybe there is one. We'll have to look for it eventually. 
So let's place our lanterns on the ends over here. So very simple look so far. I'm really happy with it. So, you know, as you're walking, you can just go off and fish in the distance. So, yeah, like I said, we need to make a few boats here, a few docks. But I'm going to pause, finish up a few more details to this place, and then we're going to go enchant our fishing rod. Alrighty, so I've done a few things to the inside. I think it looks quite decent. As you walk in, as you can tell, it feels more inviting. Uh, I kept this stuff here because I think it looks good. It looks like a workstation. I have our little lantern here with our little map and a little table. And then over here, we just have like a workstation. You know, any fisherman needs an area that they can work on their fishing rods and whatnot. And then have, you know, an area to clean the fish. And then some barrels for, for storage. So I think it is a very nice design. Obviously, I want to have some frames here with some fishing rods. And like I said, today we're going to go back to our enchantment area and actually enchant our fishing rods. But in the meantime, I also want to add a little bit of more design around here. Just for the entrance to look make it look a little bit more um, inviting. Uh, as obviously, it needs a little bit more details to the outside. And I think that's something you guys can all agree upon. Uh, so we're just going to add a little bit more like this. Um, just kind of make it look a little bit interesting here. So I think that looks a little bit better. Not too bad. Let me grab the shovel real quick. Just kind of make it look a little bit beat down like that. And obviously around here, we're going to have some more areas, like more trading areas for the fishing farm. So I think it's going to look really, really nice when that's done. Put that over there. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, this is everything inside. I didn't do too much on the dock yet. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's coming along really nicely. We're going to head over now to the enchantment area. And let's go and see if we can get some decent enchants on that. So, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. So, we're back to the campsite, which so many of you guys really like the design of it. So, I really appreciate that. So, let's go ahead and make our fishing rod. Now, I'm pretty sure we have everything we need to make a fishing rod besides some sticks. Now, I don't know where the heck they are. So, I guess we have to make some sticks. That's a first ahead and make our fishing rod now i'm hoping we get something decent now we can make another one you know what? we might as well make one more uh fishing rod so let's go ahead and do that real quick that way we can have a few more uh by the dock and we can put them hanging down so maybe we can get some decent enchants now obviously we have 30 xp so we'll get one really good enchant and then one that's kind of mediocre so let's go take a look let's go down to our enchantment area obviously i think in the next episode i also want to work on moving our enchantment area to a different location i want to make this a farm over here so i think that would be something decent to do uh oh i forgot we need our lapis first fishing rod we have unbro oh man those don't look too good i'm gonna be honest what the heck uh, unbreaking, we don't want that. That's just not what we want right now. Unbreaking three. You know what? We kind of do need unbreaking three. So let's go ahead and make un three. Oh, lure tour unbreaking three. Not too bad. Let's go see if maybe we get anything lucky. See, that's lure three. Um, let's see if we can add a bit more to this. Maybe we'll get some better enchants. Unbreaking and unbreaking. So we only have 28 level XP, which doesn't make sense for us to go back into the nether and get some more XP. But in the meantime, I'm pretty happy with it. If we can get get ourselves this is all unbreaking so it doesn't make too much sense to go and enchant that right now uh you guys can uh let me know in the comment sections if i made the right choice there but hey you know what maybe we'll just do it anyways regardless and try with unbreaking i don't know if i'm really no no i'm not i'm just gonna hold back i'm gonna hold back i feel like it's not worth it right now to waste that enchant i think we have a decent enchant already on this lure tool and unbreaking i was hoping we can get luck of the sea which would be very ideal for us if we could have got that you guys are gonna name this fishing rod <laughs> you guys also have another task name the fishing rod that would be really really helpful uh other than that let me take this flower pot so we can bring it back to our fishing dock let me see if there's anything else in here that we need to bring i want to trade with the villagers that's gonna be the final thing i want to do today is to trade with the villagers a little bit more and then we can end off today's pretty interesting episode it was very very uh relaxed i think we got a lot done with the fishing hut so yeah let's go head back to the kingdom all right, so we're back to our fishing hut, which I have to say, it is growing on me. I really like the style of it. Uh, one thing I noticed is I want to add a lantern at the top over there. But let's go ahead and make ourselves, the last thing which I wanted to do was to get ourselves a uh, leather and make some more frames over here. So we're going to put them right above here, which was the initial plan originally. So let's go get our frames right now. I think I'm going to put them right about, should we keep them at level with that side? Let's see. I feel like that looks decent right there. So we'll have one. No, we don't want to. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Let's just toss this in the water. See if we can get lucky with this. Uh, did we get anything? Oh. We got a stick. <laughs> that was our first, guys, in the comment sections. I can just, you can go ahead and meme that if you want. But that was the first thing we got from fishing was a stick. Not even a fish. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? No, I have to try again. I have to try again. 
please imagine it being another stick. Come on, please be something decent this time. Oh, oh, there we go. And there we go. We got ourselves a fish finally. Okay, I feel I feel a lot better with that. So let's go put our fishing rod in there and we have another fishing rod which we're going to toss in there as well. Uh obviously enchanted fish rod looks a lot nicer. Uh we can go ahead and put ourselves our first caught fish right in the middle. How about that? I think that's a perfect spot. So we have ourselves our first ever fish, our first ever fishing rod. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think this is a big milestone already for us. I think this looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the way everything is turning out. So the final thing, uh, as we say goodbye to our fishing hut for today's episode, is I want to go and trade with the villagers, especially with the toolsmiths, potentially, or just to see what else there is so that we can inc increase the enchants, or not the enchants, but the uh, better stuff that the villagers can give us. All right, so we're back in the village. How's it going, Hunter? Hunter, I'm so sorry. We still don't have a name tag for Hunter. We're going to have to give Hunter a name tag. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, you can follow me. Come on, let's go, buddy. Oh, wait, we should give you some more food, shouldn't we? There you go. I'll give you some steak. Uh, you go do your... Th Where are you going, Hunter? Let's go this way, buddy. Uh, let's go see. We have... Oh, I also named them, like, Toolsmith area. And I named a few of these other buildings here somewhere. Let's see. This one should be the Butcher, which I forgot to name. But let's see what they're doing around here. Okay, Toolsmith. What I want to do, though, is I do want to trade mainly so that we can... Let's see. I, I'm just going to give him one. I don't know why I wanted to give him ten. I want to just give him one of those, mainly so that we can increase ourselves the ability for these uh tool smiths also we need it we need a shovel regardless i want to see what our clerk has around here where's the clerk uh clerk there you are anything in redstone you know what we're just gonna start doing some trades guys obviously it's maybe not the best idea to waste our emeralds but i do want to start having these uh villagers uh kind of increase their trade which is something that we really need to work on for sure now this guy wants string for emeralds which is pretty decent and then three emeralds for a bucket of fish uh that's not what we want there and this guy is a pretty decent farmer got a lot of stuff all right so that is pretty good uh i'm pretty happy with that i just wanted to just mess around see what the villagers have to trade we're gonna have to fix that is that right hunter i'm pretty sure that's correct here here's another food for you all right perfect all right, yeah, so that's going to conclude today's episode. Like I said, it was a very focused episode on building our fishing hut. And in the next episode, we're going to go back to a really action-packed one. But let me know your feedback down below in the comment sections. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We have a lot of new content coming this week. Uh, and yeah, thanks again for all the support. Thank you for 60,000 subscribers. My name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.